This is Bobby Osborne and the Rocky Top Express. I'd like to remind you of a few dates that we're going to play nearby, and where, uh, regardless of where you're at, we you come and be with us if you if you uh, if you get a chance to. Tomorrow, which is going to be Saturday, July the first, we're going to be in Savannah, Tennessee, uh, at the Courthouse Square. Next Thursday, which will be uh, July the sixth, we'll be in Nashville, Tennessee, at the Nashville Palace. And that show there will be at 7 o'clock that night. And uh, then on Saturday, July the 8th, we'll be appearing at the Opry at uh, 715 uh, Central Time. And later on that evening, why, we'll be at the record shop, Ernest Tubb Record Shop, taping the Midnight Jamboree. And that show starts there at 10 o'clock. And we'd like to invite you all to come and be with us for all these performances. Until we talk to you again. musician Bobby Osborne who helped popularize the song Rocky Top died early Tuesday according to a statement from the college where he worked. He was 91 years old. Osborne and his brother Sonny made up the Osborne brothers and their version of the song Rocky Top in 1967 became an official state song of Tennessee his website said. Osborne was a member of the Grand Ole Opry and the International Blue Glass Music Hall of Fame. To say he was a legend falls short of the impact he had on all of us, said Paul. In January, he received the Governor's Awards in the Arts for his dedication to sharing Kentucky's rich history in the arts around the world. Osborne was still performing and teaching last year when he told WYMT TV that as long as I can open my mouth and sing, I ain't going to quit. Hazard Community and Technical College President Jennifer Lyndon said the school was deeply saddened to learn about Osibone's death. He was a pioneer in the blue glass music industry and a champion to fall Eastern Kentucky, she said. May he so rest in peace and thank you so much for watching.